I know what I want. I know what kind of God I need to be for you. For all of us. Hey everyone, I'm the Canadian Lad, and today I'm gonna give you lads an amazing theory on the final episode of Loki Season 2, where Loki walked down the gangway without any protective suit and still managed to destroy the temporal loom and replaced it with himself. Now ever since we saw Loki in Thor 1, Loki's been chasing after the throne all his life. Whether it was in Avengers 1, Thor 2, or Thor Ragnarok, Loki has been going after the throne for a long time now. But the moment he least wanted it, the moment he desired actual friendships, like the ones he found with Mobius and Sylvie, that's the moment Destiny decides to hand him over the most significant throne of all. Now let's get to the point that I've been desperately waiting to share with you lads. In this scene where Loki was walking down the gangway, he was actually getting older here with each passing second, which eventually aged him to infinity, allowing him to withstand the temporal radiation that was constantly hitting his body, making him infinitely more powerful. And this power is what he used to weave the branches back together to a tree and gave the timelines a new life. And to know the foundation of this theory, we have to go all the way back to episode 1, where Obi said this to Mobius. Well, the fast doors will close and lock you out, and then you still will age away, you will age away, and you'll get very old, and all your skin will get peeled away, and you will die. Pay attention to the words, you will age away, you will get very old. These exact words of Obi is what makes us question, does it mean Loki got older here as well? Because the same rule should apply to Loki even though he isn't a human. He's a god who is infinitely stronger than Mobius. And don't forget, Loki is an Asgardian, and Asgardians grow stronger as they age. Now, if you have watched the 2013 animated series Avengers Assemble, in Season 2, Episode 13, the Avengers face off against Thanos on a moon base. There, at one point, Thanos uses the Time Stone to age out all the Avengers, resulting in all of them turning older. And as the Avengers grew older, they all got weaker. Except for Thor, who is an Asgardian and he just got more powerful as he aged. Feel the centuries overwhelm you. Passage of time only makes Asgardians more powerful! So as Thor said, the passage of time makes Asgardians more powerful. Now based on this and what Obi said in episode 1, Loki should get older here as soon as he steps on the gangway without any protective suit. And that's why his skin appeared paler and more wrinkled in that scene. Now an argument could be made that Loki is not an Asgardian but a frost giant. Therefore he didn't age infinitely and therefore this theory is invalid. But I have an answer to that as well. I believe believe having the blessings of all father Odin and mother Frigga makes him an Asgardian. And the fact that Asgard is not a place, it's people. And not to forget, just before the main timeline Loki died in Infinity War, he accepted himself as the prince of Asgard and an Odin son. I, Loki, prince of Asgard, Odin son. He even claimed himself to be the rightful king of Jotunheim. The rightful king of Jotunheim. The point is, Loki chose to be both by his own will. Even though he knew he was a frost giant by birth, but he never considered himself to be an outsider in Asgard. He never thought he didn't belong there. In fact, Odin's final words further solidified this belief, where Odin addressed Loki as his own son twice. My sons. I love you, my sons. So I'm not saying Loki isn't a frost giant, he is, he knows it. But he's also an Asgardian and we can't take that away from him. And that's what makes this series so interesting. In Norse mythology, gods can actually live infinitely long. Maybe not in the MCU because Odin had his time, but it could be different for Loki. Because without him, it all falls apart. And also, we haven't seen any frost giants in the MCU with the same abilities as Loki. Meaning, even though he was born as a frost giant, but he was basically basically taught and empowered by Odin. So it all boils down to the Odin Force, not specifically for Asgardians by birth. Um, let me say it in a more simpler fashion. You take out Loki from here and replace him with an average Asgardian, that person may not age infinitely and may just get spaghettified. But if you put Loki or Thor here, they will age out but will grow stronger at the same time. And it all has to do with the Odin Force, not necessarily for every Asgardian. Only the Asgardians that Odin has bestowed his powers onto 
to may have this ability. Now, thanks to the subreddit of Loki, where the user Take Happiness Left Sad posted this about a month ago, and also everyone else who commented on this post. You should definitely follow this sub if you want to discuss more Loki stuff. And also, thanks to Sachin for sending me an email and letting me know about this theory. Let me know your thoughts on this, and I will read every single comment, because I want to have a conversation about this with you lads. Now, I'll be covering each and every single episode of What If Season 2, not taking my Christmas days off. It's the least I can do for you lads, and I hope I'll be able to make it up to you for all the videos that I didn't make. Till then, I'll see you lads in the next one.